and welcome. I'm the Badger Reborn, and today I'm going to talk about the Wheel of Time on Prime and speculate about some of the really cool concept art that was shared by their social media accounts recently. Hope you enjoy this speculation, and I'm curious to see what you think about each image. This video will have spoilers for the Eye of the World book and speculative spoilers for what could be the first season of the show, though I could be completely wrong about it. Before I get started looking at the images, I do just want to say I, re I really love concept art. I'm a huge fan of it. I love it for any type of movie or TV show that I can find it for, so the fact that Amazon and Wheel of Time on Prime released these concept art photos, even though it's not a whole lot of them, I'm really thrilled, and I think they look all quite fantastic. Rafe Judkins jumped in some chats with other content creators recently and dropped a few hints and spoilers about what the images could be about or exactly how they're going to relate to the show. He, of course, didn't go into super explicit detail. Um, but we know some of them are going to be very similar in the show, some of them are going to be not so similar. So I'll kind of speculate on that as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in and look at the first one. As we can see, we've got some people here in the foreground standing in front of what looks like a lake or a river. I guess probably a lake because it seems like it maybe ends back here with some mountains around it as well. Possibly this could be a quarry if it was maybe dug out this way. Looks like there are some little house kind of shanty things maybe tents down here so my my first thought is that you know maybe rand and matt are walking along they kind of see those they stop to think about man matt aren't we so much better off living in farmhouses look at those little huts down there and then matt agrees yeah 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 we definitely got a lot more money than they do kind of seems like a typical rand and matt interaction there's also this bridge up here which i'm guessing maybe is white bridge you know, I think I'm not so sure whether Rafe and the other writing team has read the books very well. They might kind of think White Bridge looks more like that, you know, on the smaller side, a bit of a runty bridge. So I'm guessing that that's White Bridge and they're kind of getting here on their own. Tom has probably already died by this point, so that's why he's not here with them. Could also be earlier on, I think another explanation could be that it's Tam and Abel kind of traveling along the road by themselves. Um, uh, possibly about to take a, a dive off of this bank into the river just for a, a nice pleasant swim. You never know. They did have a more zoomed in picture or at least just kind of a middle cropped picture. I don't think it really tells anything more except if we look closely at them. This one's got a stick. This one's got a bow and what looks like a sword and a bag. So he seems to be the more important character since he's got more accessories. One other theory on this one that I wanted to go back to, you know, I think it could be Perrin and Egwene, and I know what you're thinking, they both look like men, but, you know, there's there's some speculation that the Wheel of Time TV show might change Egwene into a man, and, you know, that's certainly possible, you never know these days. So let's go on to picture number two now. This one's a big one. You can see all kinds of stuff going on in this picture. It's dark. They're in a village of some sort with these uh, pointy roof houses. Is that thatch I see? I don't think it's thatch, but it could be. Looks more like tile to me. There's also these lantern things all over the place. Kind of makes me think of the lanterns in Rapunzel, except that they're not flying away. Then there's villagers all over the place. Looks like people in the middle dancing, kind of dressed up nicely. Some people enjoying food, some kids there. So what could this be? Uh, my first thought is that they've decided to make the Tinkers no longer in wagons and they just live in a village now. Just have a village where they camp out and this is what it looks like all the time. That's probably the best explanation for this picture. Um, Yosha, the actor who plays Rand, I believe did tweet out that this picture looks familiar to him. So it could be somewhere that Rand travels in the book. So another explanation is that this might be Faldara and this is Rand in the group eating dinner at Faldara before they go off to the eye of the world. One other thing to keep in mind, of course, is that there's dancing, so could be some sort of celebration. We don't really know exactly what that's about. Um, a lot of people have speculated that this is Beltine from the books, and that's certainly possible, but I don't see any Trollocs ravaging through the picture, so that seems a little bit less likely. I think they had the, the cropped in picture of this one too, so we see this man standing right here. Not really sure what to take away from him. He doesn't look all that significant. But uh, this house, again, it's definitely quite a big house. 
if it is uh, if it is bell tie, and this could be the the village inn, of course. These houses do look like the pictures that we've seen in some of the leaked photos, or uh, not even leaked, just the officially released photos of Emmons Field. Uh, but you know, I think my tinker explanation is more likely. The next photo we've got here is circle of wagons. Got a bunch of horses over here, horses over here. Some people in the middle eating around a campfire. So what might this one be? I think there's a few explanations again. I think one of them could be that someone has created a train. Doesn't quite fit the time period of the books in the eye of the world, but uh, they made a train, they accidentally made the tracks wrong to where it just goes in a very small circle. Not the most productive train, but you know you could move heavy things from here to over here and it would help you do that. There's also a clothesline here, so maybe these don't actually move at all. They're just, you know, stationary boxes that people found and are living in. People do that sometimes. It is interesting that, you know, they're, they're kinds of interesting colors. People have speculated that they could be tinker wagons and, and those are tinker horses, but I think another explanation is that this is a trolloc camp and these are trollocs over here and over here. And then these are merge all, but they're just wearing regular clothes. But that's why they're in the middle, kind of the cool area around the fire. And they keep the trollocs in those pins. Seems like a likely explanation, you know, trollocs mix of different animal parts and that sort of thing. These are certainly horses in the body, but I'm not sure that these are horse heads. Maybe look like unicorns or something. Interesting little plant detail here. It's a really well done drawing. I really like this one quite a lot. I like the one before too. It looked really fa quite fantastic with all the lanterns. And this middle crop we can see the the people or the merge all in the middle just kind of zoomed in on that fire which looks like a nice cozy setting certainly could be you know Perrin and Egwene possibly Elias eating around the campfire with tinkers but I don't know I, I don't think they look quite colorful enough so probably a different explanation maybe another theory is that Moraine and Lan instead of just coming in with horses they bring some wagons in order to carry more supplies so when they make the escape out of Eamon's Field they have a wagon train with them as well Let's go on to the next one then. This is a picture of some people probably sitting on horses. They're crossing over a bridge. This one is definitely another possibility for white bridge. You know, it's it's a bridge, kind of whitish, got this white looking stone. This might be white bridge that they go over if they're if they're kind of traveling together at this point. Um, I think that's definitely you know a, quite a real possibility. And then here in the background that could be Shadar Logoth or Tarvalon. See a little tower there. I do quite like this drawing as well. The detail on the people are, and the horses are quite excellent. I really like the fact that they're even including things like the shadow, I think, of the horses right there. It looks, looks really quite excellent. There's not a whole lot to take away from this one other than just the fact that there's a bridge over some rocks, and I don't really see the point of that. You know, there's, there's no water going here. So somebody just built a bridge over some rocks. Could have just walked the horse right there. If we look at the middle image there, again, not kind of not much to see again. I'm interested in what this stone is. Maybe a maybe a stone for traveling portal stone, eh? Let's go on to the next one. This is the last image, and it's quite a cool image too. I think this one might be my favorite looking, just in terms of the spooky ambiance with the fog. I think you know if we could zoom in and turn the corner here. By a fog machine sitting here on the ground kind of squirting this fog out this horse probably about to see it and wonder what it is but we see a man on the horse here he's riding down kind of by himself and these are clearly some quite large buildings bigger than what we would probably see in most villages but I think this is probably Emmons Field you know they decided to make the buildings a little bit bigger this is probably the inn but the smoke's there because it's been attacked by Trollocs and a lot of these buildings are burning not a lot of people because they've had to flee. I think that would make sense for why, you know, Rand could be here riding on Bella. He's trying to find someone to heal Tam, or maybe he just left Tam at the farm in, in this TV show adaptation. We don't really know. But I think the drawing looks quite good. There's detail in these buildings that's quite, quite great. I think this one, if I had to speculate though, this one might be the one that Rafe said wouldn't look quite as much like the drawing, though he did say that Shadow Logoth in the show, that's what a lot of people are speculating this could be. 
he did say it would be quite creepy and you know this would be pretty creepy i think it could be even creepier in the show so i'm looking forward to that but again whoever does these drawings they're quite good i like concept art so much it is pretty cool that wheel of time their online accounts both twitter and instagram i believe they took some feedback from fans about having these written descriptions along with the video along with both the video and the pictures for this one and they included it for each one it's very cool that they did that so that's it for the speculation let's flip back over to looking at me i know that's why you're here so now that we're back don't forget to give this video a like if you uh let's say if you agreed with everything i say don't worry about giving it a like if you disagree with one of those explanations definitely got to give this video a like hit that thumbs up button um or you do the thumbs down whichever one is um, more relevant to you. I'm, I'm fine either way, though I'd prefer the thumbs up, of course. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Wheel of Time videos. I'll have another one coming out pretty soon, hopefully, comparing Matt Cawthon to Ron Weasley, which I think is a pretty interesting comparison, probably more similar similarities than you might expect. Obviously, this video was just in good fun. You've probably seen a lot of speculation about what these images might be. I also did want to say, just to reiterate, I really love these images. Concept art in general looks great, but these images Watching the video that accompanied them and just looking at them um, it got me a little bit almost teary when I was watching it because it's just bringing to life something you know that's been on page for so long and been in my imagination but then getting to actually see it in front of me it's a really cool experience so I'm really looking forward to the show and <laughs> despite what I said when looking at those concept art um, which of course 100% um, how I really feel about them I'm really looking forward to the show and I think it will be done quite well. One thing to keep in mind with these concept art images, in my opinion anyway, they wouldn't release these images if they were, number one, wildly different or much better than what we're going to see in the real show. So the fact that they look so good, they have such intricate detail, the design of the sets and location is so good looking in multiple of those pictures, especially the one of the village, the one of what could be big city, Shadow Loga type of city. The fact that they look so good so big so intricate that's a great step in the direction of showing that these sets what we're going to see in the show is also going to look amazing otherwise it wouldn't release those concept art photos so i'm pretty jazzed about that i do have to thank my patrons before i go any further for their support it really helps me to feel appreciated and i really like feeling appreciated so thank you all i appreciate you quite as much that's it for this ridiculous video if you watched it this far thank you so much and i will see you next time